Hello everyone, welcome back to Explore Electronics. In this video, let's see half wave rectifier, the rectifier with capacitor filter and without capacitor filter. And also let's see how it works and with waveforms. Let us look at the definition of rectifier first. Rectifier is a circuit which converts AC signal into pulsating DC. So here I am telling it as pulsating DC. Why? Because if the AC signal is like this, the rectifier is going to convert this into the signal like this, not the continuous, not the DC signal constantly like this. So these pulses are present in the output of the rectifier. That's why we are calling it as pulsating DC. This will be consisting of some component of AC also. That's why it is not purely AC to DC converter. It is a conversion of AC signal to pulsating DC signal. And these rectifiers consisting of diodes, semiconductor diodes. So basically symbol of semiconductor diode is like this. This symbol indicating the direction of current flow will be like this from P to N. This is the physical diode. If you see in uh, boards or circuits, this is how we see diodes. Here this end is P end. Wherever the silver line is there, that indicates N end, that is cathode. This P end is anode. So diode conducts when it is forward biased. Means with this P end connected to the positive terminal, this is N region, other end will be, will be connected to the negative terminal. Then we call it as forward biased. So diode conducts in this way. Here is the bulb, it is glowing. And when it is reverse biased, this diode you can see, here it is reverse biased, negative terminal connected to P and positive terminal connected to N. There is no current flow in the circuit. That's why diode is reverse biased and it is off. There is no connection. By using this phenomena, we can design the rectifiers. You can see here diode working. This is the first half or the positive half cycle where diode conducts. This is the current flow and this is how we are going to get the output. In the second half, you can see there is no conduction in the diode, so there is no output generated. So for the one complete cycle, this is one cycle AC input, we are getting only first half of the signal at the output. Second half of the signal is zero. This is how diode works. This can be used in the design of rectifiers. So let us understand the half wave rectifier first. This half wave rectifier is a very simplest form of rectifiers. This circuit make use of a single diode. Only one diode we are using here in the design of half wave rectifier. And why this is called as half wave rectifier means if you see the output, this is the AC signal we are applying and this is the output we are getting. This output you can compare with the AC signal. Only half of the one complete cycle will be present in the output. So this half cycle is same as the first half cycle. Second half cycle is discarded means the output is zero. So the third half cycle is present over here. So half of the output of AC will be presented at the output. That's why it is named as half wave rectifier. Now coming to the circuit, how the circuit is built, a single diode we are using and there will be a load resistor RL. Across this RL, we are measuring the output V0. And coming before that, we will be having a transformer here, a 240 volts AC signal we are applying as input which is connected to the primary coil of the transformer and it is coupled to the secondary coil of the transformer. This is the secondary coil. This transformer is stepping down the 240 volt input into 12 volts. How to step down this? By choosing number of turns in the primary coil and the secondary coil wisely, we can step down this 240 volt AC to 12 volts AC. Once the 12 volts AC is available over here, in the positive half cycle, this diode conducts that's why we are going to get the positive half cycle as it is output across RL. And when the negative half cycle of the input is applied, when this is applied, diode will not conduct. That's why there is no current. So output will be zero over here. Now let us understand the positive half cycle and negative half cycle of the inputs individually. Now we can see here in these two figures, the first one is when the positive half cycle of the input is applied to the rectifier circuit. Here what happens? Diode D1 becomes forward biased. Why? Because this is the positive half cycle of the input. Here this end is plus, this is minus. Even at the secondary coil, 
this is plus this is minus so diode becomes forward bias like this this conducts the current in this way so output will be measured from this end to this end so this is the output we are going to get similarly when the negative off cycle of the input is applied what happens this will be treated as minus this will be treated as plus so in the secondary coil also we are going to get the voltage in the same way so diode p and junction will be like this this p is getting the negative voltage this n is getting the positive voltage means the diode is off or we say diode is reverse biased here diode is completely off in the uh, first circuit we say diode is on that's why it conducts here diode is off there is no current flow that's why there is no output o output will be zero so if we see the complete cycle this blue line indicating the input signal and this red line indicating the output signal this is the peak of the input signal this is the peak of the output signal and the dc component will come over here so this red red line indicating two pulses this is one pulse and this is other pulse we need to eliminate this pulse then only it becomes a complete dc if you have pulses like this at the output of the rectifier we are calling it as pulsating dc so this output will be consisting of ac pulses now this is the practical circuit of the half wave rectifier if you apply the ac signal like this it will convert that into the half wave pulsating dc signal like this now the complete dc means suppose if you have an ac signal like this the dc output should be a constant like this so if you are expecting 5 volts this 5 volt should be a constant now we are getting like this so we need to eliminate these pulses for that what we need to do we need to go for capacitor filter okay before that you can see here this is the input signal continuously going ac signal and correspondingly whenever it is going to peak here also the half cycle is generating according to that now let us see the capacitor filter this is also called as reservoir circuit or smoothing circuit added with the rectifier half wave rectifier with capacitor filter here you can see in the circuit this capacitor is added up here the rest of the circuit is same as the half wave rectifier circuit which we have seen earlier now this capacitor is added up what happens when the capacitor is added up when the current is flowing in this direction when diode is on this capacitor will charge to the maximum value and we are measuring the voltage across this as an output the output will be same as the voltage across rl so this capacitor will be charged to the maximum value it means the capacitor output will be zero initially when this diode conducts means the positive half cycle of the input is applied this capacitor will charge and when the negative half cycle of the input is applied what happens this diode will be off so capacitor will hold its charge but uh, by that time getting the next positive half cycle it will get some time duration over here so this started to discharge slowly but it will not come to zero again when the next half cycle of the input comes over here this is applied again it will charge to the peak so this process continues the output will be smooth and like this if you observe the output it will be a smooth signal initially without capacitor this is the output we have with capacitor filter this capacitor once it is charged to this peak it will be maintained its state but slightly it is discharged that's why we are seeing this peak that's why a capacitor filter is required in the rectifier to eliminate the pulses present or the ripples present in the output we say so this is the full wave rectifier now in this full wave rectifier we can see this is the ac signal we are applying you can see even in the positive half cycle and the negative half cycle of the input we are getting the positive signal as output that's why in the full cycle the diodes are going to conduct here and it gives more response or more result compared to the half wave rectifier in the half wave rectifier the output will be like this so the full wave rectifier efficiency is more compared to the half wave rectifier that's why we need to prefer full wave rectifier over half wave rectifier so let us understand this full wave rectifier in the next video thank you